Have you ever done anything that made you feel like you had adulterated yourself and wished you hadn't done it? Simple example might be binging on a bunch of junk food. Why did I do that? Maybe you took a drug that later you regretted taking. Maybe you entered an unhealthy atmosphere and soaked in a bunch of thoughts that really didn't belong to you and you wished had never been a part of your experience. Whatever it might be, there is a way to resolve that feeling. In actual truth, you can never adulterate your real individuality in the likeness of God, which is purely spiritual. You have a spiritual individuality that is never touched by anything that ever happens materially. I think about uh, this lake here. If I go down to the edge of the water and I stir up the bottom of the lake with a stick, a bunch of sediment rises into the water. It pollutes the water and it becomes muddy looking and you can't see down to the bottom any longer. But if I stand there and wait for a few minutes, the sediment starts to settle back down to the bottom of the lake and the water becomes clear again. And it reminds me that the water and the sediment are two different elements. The sediment never really pollutes the water. Once it settles down, the water is just as crystal clear as it ever was. Well, likewise, with our individuality, it's purely spiritual. It's like the water. There may be times when it looks like the sediment of mortal mind is all mixed in with our individuality and has polluted us in some way. But in actual fact, that never happens. The water and the sediment do not mix. They are separate elements. And likewise, your individuality is purely spiritual. And it can't be adulterated by any food, by a drug, or by any kind of immoral atmosphere around you. You can come out and be separate, as Paul said in the Bible, and recognize the truth about your real individuality. Leave all that behind and walk forward feeling good about who you are, made in the likeness of God, and that there is no adulterated history in the history of God's likeness. There's just the purity and perfection of God. The purity and perfection of your individuality is intact. It always has been, and it always will be. And there isn't anything that ever happens in the so-called mortal mind world that changes that truth. Find comfort and peace in the truth about your individuality, which is purely spiritual and remains pure forever.